God, that's a good sound. I love the frickin' bass of the Super NES sound chip. At least when Capcom was using it. Street Fighter 2 is absolutely one of the most successful games ever. Like, it practically invented the whole genre. You could make a case that Mortal Kombat came out at about the same time and had roughly the same amount of impact. Still not quite as much. Street Fighter 2 certainly got enough freaking versions and releases. There's even a... I believe there's a Street Fighter 2 release for the, the Switch that actually adds a new variation on Ken. So even all this time later, Street Fighter 2 in specific is still relevant. I don't know that Daisy doesn't want to play with that ball and the swirly thingy when it's upside down. It's like clear across the room and the mic's still picking it up. So the clicky sound is my cat having fun. I don't think I'm going to apologize for my cat having fun. What other games? Let's see. Skyrim, I think, is on the same tier as Street Fighter 2 in terms of massive success and like mainstream cultural popularity and impact. Maybe. I was gonna say, maybe GoldenEye made, uh, like, uh... <laughs> GoldenEye was a big deal for its time, I guess. Interestingly, neither of the Super NES releases of uh, Street Fighter 2 had the actual full, uh, like, panic mode loop included. It just sped the music up when somebody was low on health. I'm forced to agree that in many of these cases, like, the original arcade sound is really the superior chipset for the soundtrack, but... Street, uh, Super NES release of the original, not Super Street Fighter 2, is a close second. They made some sound chip, sound font changes for, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 that weren't always great. Still good, but not as great. Anyway, that's about five minutes. Let's see if everything still works. It seems to. So, hi. I was kicking around the idea of doing this stream for a little bit. And uh, I'm glad everything, uh, you know, with my real, actual, genuine we are working as I'd hoped. So, uh, apparently this flew a little bit more under the radar than I expected. I thought Punch-Out for Wii was a better-known title, but, uh... Not everybody, I guess, is familiar with Punch-Out as a franchise, to begin with. 
And apparently even people who are, like, forgot that Punch-Out for the Wii ever happened. So I was like, you know what? Punch-Out Wii is a great game. It deserves better than that. I'm gonna stream it, because it is fun, and people should see it. It's still a little bit of, uh, the Punch-Out, like, punch the stereotype formula, but, you know, they have fun with it. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> it, has, it has fun music and fun animations, it is just a good game. Uh, I don't have a, a me, so I'm gonna be this guy. It's a little loud in my headset. Maybe that's just me. But anyway, this plays pretty much the same as it did on the NES, more or less. I think you could use motion controls with a Wiimote and a nunchuck if you really wanted to, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the right way to play this game was to hold uh, the Wii remote like sideways like an NES controller and use one and two to punch, and the sideways D-pad to, uh, you know, do D-pad things. But, uh, here's a, already a fun little feature I want to show up. Like, people on these menus react to your cursor if you mess with it. Max, like, what the fuck's this? Get out of my face. Or if you swing it by his feet, he tries to... <laughs> I know Kans likes the little things as much as I do, so I figured, you know, when I see them, I'm gonna show them off a little bit. But anyway, let's just go ahead. Still more or less a pretty straightforward, just linear walk up through a whole bunch of opponents. Uh, as compared to the original Punch-Out, nobody is repeated in your first trip. Like, you won't fight Bald Bull twice, for example. Uh, it's, it's just a straight ladder. Uh, most of these characters are returning from the NES Punch-Out. A couple are from the Super NES Punch-Out, and one of them is brand new for this game. And I'll point him out when we get to him, which will be tonight, I believe. But in any case, yep, yeah, Glass Joe starts. Of course. Glass Joe is still 5'10 and only 110 pounds, and he's from France, even though it's not real. <laughs> he has apparently gotten one knockout victory. He's 38. Uh, if I were using an emulator, which I'm obviously not because this is totally a real Wii, uh, we would see some strange effects going on with, like, the cell shading outlines that sometimes don't look great from certain angles, but, uh, otherwise it would look fine. Thankfully, we won't be seeing any such thing here in this stream. Here's Glass Joe. He's from France. I got red. <laughs> France. Bonjour! Bonjour! <laughs> Thomas has broke his face over his opponent's fist. Oh no, hold on. I might have to make some changes here. I'm getting a, like a li it's a little bit crusty. I might have to downscale. Yeah, hang on here. There are, uh, factors I had not considered. Stand by. I don't know if I can change this or if I had to restart my Wii. Uh... I might be able to switch this on the fly. Oh, well, that's just terrible. Audio is also crappy. Shoot, I think I have to start over here. Hang on. I might be able to... Options... Not that one. You know how these Wii's are. You know, you gotta mess with them, like, all the time. Like, anytime you get a new Wii game, you'd have to configure the Wii just so. Uh... Audio... Yeah. Alright. Stand by here. Appreciate your patience as I try to get everything working. That worked fine when I wasn't streaming it, but you know. My poor little computer. It does its best. Somebody said that this version worked pretty well, so we'll try it. I don't know what that means. Well, it's certainly going to look worse, because now it's at, like, half the resolution. We'll just, uh, see if it's better behaved now. That 
part we already know works fine. Now maybe the lower resolution will smooth out some of the uh, imp oh, What did you do? <laughs> Good. This is why I was kind of hesitant to stream this. Oh, what are you gonna do? Any idea what audio backend means? Doesn't really have any tooltips about that. Well, let's try it. Daisy Azumi's just took off flying across the house. By the way, I think my neighbor went to jail. I'm not even kidding. Oh, my glaving. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. Do that. We'll get there, maybe. Or it'll all be a failure. <laughs> In which case, uh, I'm not sure if I have a plan B for you tonight. Yeah, like some freaking. I know, I, I think I talked about it, but like some. Gosh darn. Holy says Plan B's AI dungeon punch out. You know what, you're on. Um. Some like parole officers came by the other day. I was just like, well, that's interesting, but. Alright, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna make one more change here because Kans has some suggestions and I, he's uh, experienced in this breed of weed tinkering, so. Uh, I will go ahead and take his word for it. Uh, let's see. Graphics settings. Mm hmm. I feel like I looked at this before. Convinced. No. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think shader compilation. All right, compile shaders before starting. Right, 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 right. And asynchronous Uber shaders. All right, good. That does sound like the sort of thing that may help for sure. So thanks for that shout out. There we go. And it's now compiling. Uh, I seem to remember something like this coming up before your, uh... Oh, what the hell was that game called? The one with the girl eating the weird purple blobs. What was that called? I don't remember. So, how's everybody doing? Yeah, uh, internal resolution, I believe, is as low as it goes. It's... It, I had it on uh, <laughs> double size at start, but uh, clearly that wasn't working out, so... Pandora's Tower, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, for some, Like, I was thinking, like, Eternal Dark? No, that was a different thing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if this works. I really hope it does, because I not only want to stream the game, I really want to play the game. It's It's been a while, and I really liked this one. I think even in the best case, we're still going to get occasional crust, but, you know, it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. That's more better. Okay. Boy, that frame rate is really good. I think we're onto something here. Thanks for that, Kens. I really hope that works out. Uh, we still don't know for sure until we're actually in the fight. He's from France. That's ridiculous. Bon 
Bonjour! Bonjour! <laughs> nope, still terrible. I keep waiting for him to open himself up to star punch opportunities, but like he doesn't do anything. Ah, hold on, maybe this is okay. Oh god, so terrible. No, I don't think I can do this. Well... Poop. This is like when I tried to stream Mega Man X7. You know, I... it just might not be happening. This is sad. Not much I can do in audio settings, I don't think that's gonna help. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I guess in my future, absolutely real Wii Cube, as Gans puts it, uh, activities that will still be helpful. Async, full screen, aspect ratio, FPS, yada yada. Maybe if Uber shaders were never used. I'm going to try one more setting. Probably won't make a big difference. I'm gonna try it just to say I did. Native, none of that, all, none of that. <laughs> yep, let's turn on stereoscopic 3D mode. That's what we're looking for. I'm just double checking everything that has a checkbox. Really increases the let me try this. You know what, I'm not even gonna tease you this time. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna test this with the BRB screen still up. And if it doesn't work well, then shit. Skip through everything, come on. I have to go punch the French guy. As quickly as possible. You see, that's so disappointing, because, like, the frame rate is immaculate. Up until that point. No recorded bugs with the game outside, something about using a balance board. <laughs> that is not a factor. You can't skip him being French, either. Come on. Bull nah, it's still balls. Let me put this on screen for you. That's ridiculous. We'll see if it's any better at all. Snap. Sorry, guys. This is a bust. Uh, I am disappointed.
Well, what are you gonna do? Maybe I could punch, stream Super Punch Up. I don't know. I didn't love that one. Yeah, it does seem like a frame rate thing. I don't know why it gets bad at that particular time, though. There might be something to be done about it, but... Yeah, I noticed, too, that there is very little documentation on this game, because most people say it just plain works. So... Dreadful damnation. That's what I say. All right. I did say I would give this a try if nothing if the other stuff didn't work out, so stand by. Stop that. Damn you, stop this. There we go, thank you. Yeah, the ref, he, yeah, he does complicate things. I mean, I guess that is another model 3D object for it to think about. But anyway... Only said, this falls through, then AI dungeon punch up. That's what we're doing. What in the hell is this? Hold on. Single player. That was weird. <clears throat> yep, I, I feel like it, uh, configuration can probably not cure this one. I think my computer's just old and sad. I want a new computer. There's a lot of stuff I want. Starting with money. That's right, I was gonna get my... I'm still gonna set up the Ko-Fi thing anyway and just like passively take donations, I guess. I could do that. I guess look for that tomorrow. Uh, possibly Besiege tomorrow? I tried both other helicopter designs and non-helicopter designs and none of my stuff was really working, so I really don't know if I can advance any farther in Besiege, to be honest, if, or if I care to. Um, but I do at least still have some more fun ideas to try to work on. So it could be worth one more stream. Uh, we need music. Uh, that's, that's why I'm stalling here. I'm just looking for what tunes to play. Well, hold on. That's a dumb standby. Man, so disappointed. I really wanted to make a full stream out of Punch Out Wii. Every guy has his own version of all the Punch Out music. <laughs> like, you want to talk about little details. Uh, Alright. Must be logged into act. Why are you being like this, AI hey, Dungeon? Wonderful. <sighs> Hold on, we'll sign up for AI Dungeon. I see. To protect, to protect against DDoS attacks, we're currently requiring verification to play the game. That's fair. It's just, you know, humans ruining everything as they usually do. There we go. I'm verified.
We're back. AI dungeon god <laughs> Stuff happened. That's neat. It's interesting that it w waited to throw that splash screen until you were like actually in and preparing to start a game. Okay. You are a little mech. A small but powerful boxer from the Bronx. Bronx. You are a beginning pro boxer in the World Video Boxing Association. I said don't loop. Okay, this is actually the pause. Yeah, like, pause screens, victory screens, everything got a unique treatment per character in Punch Out Wii. I really like, liked that game. I'll have to come back to it in some theoretical future when I have, uh, well, I could just do it with a capture card, but. You're, yes, okay. Indeed, the WPB stands for World Video Boxing Association. That's a real thing. Uh, you are preparing to fight Glass Joe. Glass Joe is French and terrible. He has a record of 1 AO and 99 losses. I don't believe what you say. He's got no chance. Joe looks at you. Punch Joe in his face many times. Go over to Glass Joe, put your fist through his nose. It hurts like hell, but he doesn't seem to notice. Then he do it again, this time in the eye. Punch Joe in the stomach a bunch of times. I'm already seeing differences in how the AI dungeon is handling these things. It takes an extra second to think after the lines. I kind of like that. You punch Glass Joe in the stomach and then the face and then the neck over and over again. You punch him even though it's causing you pain. You punch him until he is unconscious. He falls to the floor. Good. That was... that was just as easy as it was in the real game. Little Mac wins over Glass Joe in a first round KO. He raises his fists and the crowd of 10 to 20 people goes kind of wild. It is now time to fight Von Kaiser. He is from Germany. He seems to be a shell shocked veteran of some sort. Settle down, I've only I'm only like three lines deep. I don't know what to say, he says. Well I don't know what punch and punch Von Kaiser in the mustache. Von Kaiser's mustache is horrifically burned and falls off with one punch. He grunts. Ha ha, you laugh. The crowd goes wild and starts chanting your name. Upper <laughs> last Von Kaiser with a massive uppercut. Swing a massive uppercut, crashing your fist into his chin. His head snaps back and he falls to the ground with two more punches. He is out cold. Yeah! God, I'm so good at punch out. I'm speedrunning this shit. It's wonderful. Another first round decisive victory for a little mech. His next opponent is Disco Kid, who is brand new to the WVPA. 
he likes to dance more than he he likes to punch, but he is a boxer anyway. This is a must win for Disco Kid, He's all, as he has already lost one match. I'm going to dance, the kid says. You knock me out, you win. Punch Disco Kid in the head. <laughs> the kid falls backwards and you step forward to finish him with a hard punch to the face. He's out cold. Another huge win for Little Mac. Time for the main event. Wow, it actually knows that I'm going into <laughs> the, uh, the, what is it? The minor league title bout here. That's how quickly we're going. Oh, like, I didn't even have to fight Disco Kid. I just, like, punched him. He, he might be dead. Little Mac defeated Disco Kid with immense ease to the great enjoyment of the nowhere near capacity crowd. He must now face the minor, the WVBA minor circuit champion, King Hippo. He is a m massive man like man i have no idea how to describe king hippo he is huge and has a massive gut he does not seem to think little mac is going to be a threat all right hold on we skipped right over disco kid we were already we were still on von kaiser when i was beating up disco kid uh here we go I'm going to eat you alive, he says. Bring it on, hippo, Little Max says, generating a laugh from the crowd. The bell rings and the pair clash fists. Dodge punches and wait for King Hippo to open his mouth. You slide to the side and King Hippo swings wildly in your direction. You step back and he steps forward, swinging again. You dodge this time and he steps forward with a mighty swing of his arm. Punch King Hippo in his mouth just before he punches. You punch King Hippo as he swings and succeed in punching him right in the black hole that is his mouth. <clears throat> This, for some reason, causes King Hippo's trunks to fall down, exposing the weak point on his belly. The crowd goes wild as Little Mac lands a right hook on King Hippo's belly. He falls to the ground and Little Mac follows up with some more punches. Well, that's not very legal. King Hip. Hippo falls out of the ring like an idiot. He totally loses. Little Mac is a WPBA minor sir. Good champion now. Accolades about his coach, Doc Lewis, is very proud and also very hungry. We need to go eat, he says. It is agreed, and the group leave the scene of the beaten and battered King Hippo. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty proud of how the AA dungeon is doing here, actually. Oh no, what did I do? That's the wrong... I was trying to mute my mic so I could cough. Speaking of which, there's some water over here. I should drink some. But anyway, yeah, this is amazingly coherent for AI Dungeon. I'm surprised it's uh, following my gist this well. Usually, <laughs> I'm surprised nobody called Susie has suddenly appeared up in the ring. Like, Little Mac, we gotta miss the bake sale. Uh. Alright. Little Mac moves up to the WBBA Major League. His first opponent in this league is. Uh, I think it was Bear Hugger. 
Or was he the second guy? Hold on, I don't remember. So Piston Honda's in there. Uh, fun fact, for, uh, for Punch-Out Wii, they renamed Piston Honda to Piston Hondo, presumably to avoid, uh, like, copyright clash. But Doc Lewis still makes car jokes the whole time anyway, so... Alright, so let me think. There's him, there's... Remember who the champion is. I don't want to spoil who the champion is, because it's kind of awesome. Uh... Right, Barragger. There's some fourth guy. I think, man. Might have to look it up. Right, right. Great Tiger was the other guy. Apparently, Hondo was the first. Alright, cool. Thanks for looking that up. Anyway, yeah, I guess it's point. Uh, Don Flamenco was the champion of the, of the my, uh, Major League, and I kind of thought that was great. Like, <laughs> like, good for you, Don. You did it. <laughs> And the music just caught up to me, and it's just like, yes, your opponent is absolutely Piston Hondo. Piston Hondo. He changed his name to not sound like a car. He is from Japan. He punches heads with honor. The fight begins. Killing King Hippo is still suffering from stomach pains caused by Little Mac and decides to forfeit the fight. No one is surprised. <laughs> you weren't invited here, King Hippo. Get out of here. This Nando lands the first punch. Oh, shit. Well, that's not a very good start. All right. Major League is warming up here. Dodge incoming punches. Gotta go on the defensive. You duck and Hondo tries to headbutt you, but fails. Whoa. He swings around and swings at you again as you step backwards, but his punch is blocked by Little Mac. I think it's confused about who Little Mac is. I think it forgot that I'm Little Mac. That is normal for AI Dungeon. It does this shit all the time. I don't like it. Punch. Piston Hondo in his head and face. Knock those eyebrows right off him. You punch Piston Hondo in his face and follow up with a few more punches. He falls to the floor. You finish him off with one more powerful punch as the crowd goes wild. Piston Hondo is taken to the hospital for massive boxing injuries. He may never recover. Little Mac moves up to the next rank and... Now faces the mass... Not... Well, I already used massive to describe King Hippo. Inordinately... Okay. Inordinately large Canadian man. Bear hugger. Unlike King Hippo, his huge belly is not whatsoever a weak point. <laughs> Bear Hugger is a powerful puncher and has some unusual fighting techniques. The fight begins. You dodge a right cross and a left hook on the side of Bear Hugger's hair. Bear Hugger's head. I did what now? Duck incoming Bear Hugger. Yeah. You duck a punch and step forward with the left. You see his belly area swell up as he prepares to stop your punch, so you throw a jab instead. Jab glances off of his huge belly. Wow, AI Dungeon, I'm so proud of you. You're getting- you're keeping all of your facts so straight. I'd st you might still be a little confused about whether or not I'm Little Mac, but still, beyond- besides that, I mean... Wait for an op- Opportunity to punch Bear Hugger in his big beardy face. You wait for Bear Hugger to throw a punch as you step in with one of your own. But you see his fist block your punch. Wow, that's amazing. He throws another, which you dodge and steps back for a moment. 
Hmm. All right. Dodge. Bear huggers. Very slow punches. You step forward and see him reach his arm back. You step back and wait for him to throw the punch. Duck the punch and counter attack with a big giant punch to his big giant face. You duck a punch and step in with one of your own. You see his face swell up as you press to stop your punch, so you throw a jab instead. The jab glances off his huge belly. Hey now. Alright, hold on. Just keep trying to punch Bear Hugger in the face. There are a few more punches of Bear Hugger who just tries to block them. The first round ends. Bear Hugger seems to be asleep. Doc Lewis suggests that Mac try to punch Bear Hugger in his face. Little Mac nods and tries to do his own in the second round. Bear Hugger is still asleep, but attempts to block. In the third round, the large man wakes up and punches Little Mac in the face. Shake off the punch. Punch back. Punch big. <laughs> You duck a punch and step in one of your own. You see his face swell up. <laughs> you gotta get that looked at, man. You throw a jab, glad jab glances off of his huge belly. Alright, hold on. I think I need to loop that one. I mean, I'll loop this one, it's fine. Dude, Bear Hugger's tougher than I remembered. What a difficulty spike we're having. I feel like I should... Hold on. <laughs> oh god. This was a... I really took a gamble on this Google search, I gotta say. Alright, here. There's Bear Hugger. Uh, that's actually how he looks in the rematch fight. Uh, so after you beat, like, everybody the first time through, there's, like, a title defense mode, which sadly replaces all of the fun music themes with, like, uh, generic ones that it's used for everybody, but, uh, it's way the fuck harder. But anyway, there's Bear Hugger. He's hilarious. Uh, shit. Last bear hugger with a big ass uppercut. Stepping with another right. <laughs> you see his belly swell up. What are you doing, hey? I don't you. You're kind of weird me out with this. You throw a jab, which you hope hits him in the face, but he blocks it easily. Punch bear hugger in the gut to lower his guard. Not really how it works. He step in with the right and see his belly swell up. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'll ever beat Bear Hugger. I think he's immortal. Throw a jab which you hope hits him in the face, but he blocks it. Also, we're already in the third round. And I think I'm behind on points. Hmm. Jump up onto Bear Hugger's massive gut and punch him in the face many times. <laughs> you jump up and punch the top of the big man's head. You land several punches which clearly hurt him a lot. Take out Bear Hugger with a wild haymaker. Jump at the air and throw as many punches as you can at Bear Hugger. As you're coming down from your haymaker, you notice something. Seems like the lights have turned off in the arena. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see where it's going with this. What happens next is quite surprising. You then feel a ton of weight on top. Of, oh no! It takes you a moment to realize the bear hugger just submitted you and punched you, knocking you out. Ah! Oh, 
That's not even close to legal. That's okay, the ref is only here to check everybody for guns. I think they have like the after fight. No, there it is. It's coming up. I think it's after. No. What's that about? That's weird. It doesn't have like the, you know, post fight little music sting for some reason. Little Mac lost. He will have to rematch Bear Hugger. That's okay, because apparently he can do this as m many times as he wants. The next fight begins almost immediately. Mac prepares to hit Bear Hugger with even bigger punches. You can be the first to send this boxer to the showers. Type rebug topography. No, type type repugtography. A boxer's body is incredibly full of muscles, particularly in the face. <laughs> okay. Punch. <laughs> now I'm gonna roll the bear hugger. In the face muscles. You throw a punch at Bear Hugger's face, but he simply catches your arm. You attempt to pull your arm away, but he just grabs it tighter, and you feel a crushing pain in your arm. Um. <laughs> Hang on, I just got. Thing. Uh, expect rain in Lewisburg. Okay. Hit him with a horseshoe, says all <laughs> I was thinking, well... <laughs> okay, maybe you're more familiar with Punch-Out than I thought if you're making the cheeseburger joke. Unless that's from something else that I don't know. Alright, uh... Punch like hell with the other arm. Continue punching with your good arm, but your other one feels like it's being crushed. You attempt to scream, but you can't because you're instead coughing up blood. Holy shit! Dude, bear hug, I'll have you go! All he says, I've watched every Punch-Out game by multiple people. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, Aaron Ryan is fucking hilarious in Punch-Out Wii. He was a frumpy-looking and, like, not particularly enjoyable super Punch-Out character who got retooled as, like, a completely cracked-out... Like, super offensive, extremely energetic boxer in Punch-Out! Wii. He's a riot. <laughs> Punch wildly. Punch anything. It's all Little Mac knows. You continue punching, but your target disappears you're punching the air. You attempt to roll away, but Bear Hugger stands up and uses his other arm to hold you in place. Run away from Bear Hugger. Bounce off the ropes and fly back towards him with a massive leaping Superman punch. You hop up and fly at Bear Hugger like a Superman, but he just leans back and catches your punch. God damn it! You fly straight in the air and smack into the ground. You are out like a light. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Little Mac again loses to Bear Hugger by KO. One must wonder how Bear Hugger is not a higher ranked boxer if he's so tough. Little Mac again prepares to rematch. This time the gloves are off. 
no. Okay, the gloves are still on. It was an expression. He is going to fight like hell. You can be the first to send this box into the chariot type for punctography. His face is particularly susceptible to punches, hence training a protective gear. <laughs> You're going down this time, bear a hugger. I'm gonna try to play the mind game this time, see if I can... You enter the ring and bear hugger walks towards you. The bell rings and the two of you stare at each other. Bear hugger throws the first punch and you return it. That's right. Duck punches and return. No, and count- I feel like if I said return fire, it would mean like I actually have like a submachine gun, but... Duck punch and counter attack with uppercuts. You duck a right cross and return with a right cross of your own. Bear hugger takes a step forward and tries to punch you, but you raise your hand to block it. Nail bear hugger in his agape uh, yap. <laughs> well, that's a phrase. With a super powerful star punch. You unleash a powerful right punch that clearly lands on Bear Hugger's yet. The crowd gasps with horror as blood spurts out of his gaping hole and his legs wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Wide up and punch Bear Hugger as hard as feasibly imaginable. You power your fist as hard as you can into Bear Hugger's yap, and since he's stepping forward, he manages to hit you right in the face. Damn, how'd that happen? You can't cut this guy out. Don't stop counter-attacking. Keep punching. Oh, he says Bear Hugger hunts bears, man. He's used to bleeding, that's true. You keep punching as Bear Hugger falls to his knees and then collapses to the ground, his mouth foaming. The round heads of the ref gives you a point for the KO. Yeah! We did it! Raise fists victoriously. The ref declares the fight a victory for a little neck and the fans go wild. You raise your right fist to the air. Victory! We did it. Took some doing, but I finally <laughs> I beat AI Dungeon Bear Hugger, the toughest boxer ever. I, <laughs> this is one of my best AI dungeons, I think. It's actually doing a, still a good job of keeping up, more or less. Little Mac has finally defeated Bear Hugger and moves up in the ranks. Next opponent is Great Tiger. All right, here we go. From India. He knows spooky arcane magic. <laughs> he is also the owner and proprietor of an amazing mustache. Little Mac is a little jealous of the mustache, but would never admit it. The bell rings. <clears throat> Who will win the match? Uh, well, I don't know. Punch! Great tiger in the blinky light on his turban. That's a thing. He punched Great Tiger in the blinky light on his turban. He stumbles backwards, covering the light before a laughing mad George stops and steps in to help. Oh shit! George starts chanting something and the Great Tiger begins to back up. Oh, I did not expect this twist. Alright, hold up. Call in Doc Lewis to help fight Laughing Mad George. 
You call a duck, Lewis L. Fight, la math, laughing mad George. Lewis hops onto the apron, and the two of you double team Great Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Boxing should definitely be more like this. Punch Great Tiger in the stomach every time he tries to throw a hook. You punch Great Tiger in the stomach every time he tries to throw a hook. After a few seconds, you feel your phone vibrate. Answer the phone. And say, I'm busy fighting against Great Tiger and Laughing Mad George. So make it quick. We went to the phone to say, I'm busy fighting against Great Tiger and Laughing Mad George, so make it quick. Dr. Kessel's voice crack crackles through, I need you to bring the kids from your class on Thursday. I have a special presentation planned for them. You sigh and reply. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I gotta see what it... I don't have time to do your children's class. I'm busy fighting a big hairy monster. Dr. Kessel replies, you can skip the class or you can get a large sum of money. Throw the phone at Great Tiger. You can't put up with a little school teacher any longer. You throw the phone at Great Tiger, but he catches it and holds it out of your reach. Is that better? Hey. Actually, yeah. That phone is stupid. Ref calls out, Great Tiger wins by submission, and the fans go wild. Great Tiger steps out of the ring as the announcer declares him the winner. Why, that was a dirty trick. Truly is a master of the arcane arts. <laughs> uh, hold on. There you go, we need little Mac colors. That's only a little bit glaring, it's okay. You know what, I don't think it is okay, I'm gonna go back to the other one. Maybe the orange pack, it's a nice orange. Is that the one? Yeah. There we go, we're good. <clears throat> Little Mac has no idea what the hell just happened, but apparently lost the fight somehow. As is customary, he immediately prepares to rematch Great Tiger. The bell rings for the new fight. Little Mac made sure not to bring his phone to this one. Who will win the main event? Punch Great Tiger's turban aggressively. You punch Great Tiger's turban aggressively. It's like punching a marble pillar. Wow! As you punch, you feel the sweat drip off your face. After about a minute, you hear the bell. Okay. <laughs> Between rounds, Doc Lewis wonders aloud what the hell that turban is sm smoking. The bell rings to start the next round. The jewel on the turban is blinking all kinds of nonsense colors. Little Mac pun Mag punches it. It lights up but makes no noise. You have the sudden regret of punching something that isn't a person. <clears throat> Who will win this punch drunk main event? This isn't even the. I mean, I guess it might be the main event for the night. Forget the turban and punch the mustache. 
punch the mustache. It is surprisingly soft and squishy under your head. It also makes a hollow sound. Great Tiger grunts in surprise as he's hit in the face. Wait a minute, the mustache? Is it not real? Focus on the mustache with more jabs and hooks. Continue to focus on the mustache. It is actually coming off of Great Tiger's face, but it would take an atom bomb to get it off. Hit the mustache with a massive star punch. As it explodes into pieces, the crowd, crowd goes wild that Little Mac wins by knockout. Little Mac prepares to do with the victory pose as the ref calls for the bill. <laughs> Strike an incredible pose for the cameras. Strike it. This is too good. You, you could probably have a career in modeling if you did this more, you decide. Nice. We're doing this, man. We're gonna beat the whole punch up. <laughs> I love Don Flamingo. I can't lie. He's great. I gotta show you him. He, he, they just did such a good job of him. He's so slick looking. Uh, that one's kind of small. Can I get a bigger one? Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> Just ever the ladies, man. He's magnificent. Alright, did I hit loop on this? Yep, okay, we're good. Alright, hang on a sec. Once, one moment. Uh, so there you go, I'm teaching you how to play Punch-Up. So when you're fighting Great Tiger, the turban is a trap. Hit him with the mustache. Alright. Little Mac... ...is... ...there for... ...am. Little Mac has beaten Great Tiger and is now ready for the WVBA Major League title belt. Champion of the Major League is somehow Don Flamenco, the extremely handsome boxer from Spain. <clears throat> he used be kind of a chump, but now seems to have it together. Don's definitely going to be the toughest challenge of Little Mac's career. Who will win the main event? You can find out what happens at the end of the story by becoming a supporter. That's right, you should all support your TV with lots of money so you can buy sandwiches. <clears throat> Stay wary of Duns punches. Counter attack with blows to the face. <laughs> you stay wary of Don's punches. You block some and even counter attack with some of your own. He dodges most of them though. Duck under Don's hook and punch him in the head. It lands! Maybe not a knockout, but it's a hit. Oh, you got talent. Say, and fists and punch him again even harder. This one knocks him down. Congratulations on knocking that, knocking out, or at least scoring a knockdown on the champion. You're a star. <clears throat> Don 
quickly gets back on his feet. He's not about to take this crap. He knocks you down with a cross that's so fast you didn't see it coming. He hits you with a few more punches while you're down, and the hits are getting harder. Oh shit. Shit's getting real in here. See, this is the part of the movie where, like, it cuts to other people reacting to it, like, making grimacing faces to, uh, to really sell to the viewer that the thing that is happening is bad. Roll out of the way. And scramble back to standing position. <laughs> like, I'm afraid of using pronouns. I don't want to confuse it anymore. Punch done in the hairline. Something is amiss. You punch down in the hairline. Something is amiss. You don't get back up. Little sirens begin to wail as your ears as you feel life slipping out of your body. Oh shit. Fight defensively. Avoid punches. Fight defensively. Don fools around with lefts and rights. Useless nonsense. It doesn't hurt you. He picks up his pace, though, which just means he's more serious now that he's enjoying hitting you. Man, Don is serious business. Go for a broke. With a wild star punch uppercut. It's a good shot, but Don ducks it. He throws a jab at your jaw. The crowd is on their feet and roaring for their hero. Which one's their hero? I hope it's me. Is everybody in chat still there? Because I haven't seen any movement for a little bit, so I'm wondering if I got timed out again, or if, uh, or if this is just dumb. Uh. Alright. Focus intensely on avoiding punches and throwing precise counter punches. It is hard to keep your focus while being punched, but somehow you manage. Don's punches aren't as fast as they used to be. The... The bell rings to signify the end of round one. Okay, Kansas is still here. There's movement in chat. Alright. <clears throat> Buck Lewis reminds Little Mac that he should join Club Nintendo today. Little Mac does not know what that means. Don Flamenco... Flamenco? Schmoozes on some babes near his corner. The bell rings and the fight resumes. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's cool. I was just making sure that everything was still working. Once in a while, chat burps, and then I miss, like, a minute of chat, and then I'm like, uh oh Don throws a left jab. You throw a right cross to Don's chin. The crowd goes wild, and Don staggers back a bit. Don throws a right cross. Mac dodges the right cross and returns fire with an uppercut. Don Flamenco's toupee goes flying. Nobody can believe it. Flamenco is furious. It really was an amazing reveal, by the way. <laughs> I was like, no! He rushes at Little Mac in the two men trade punches, but it's almost like old times when Don gets too aggressive and Little Mac capitalizes. The bell rings and the second round begins. Wow, all this happened before the second round started? That's amazing. Be careful to avoid Don's much faster bald... balding punches. The difference in speed is becoming more apparent now. You try not to be predictable and take time to assess your opponent's attacks. Don throws a right cross. Punch... the incoming fists right out of the way. He 
can blast him in the face with a big counter punch. You know what, Ea Dunch, you're doing great. Good job. The punch lands square on the jaw, knocking Don down. The crowd goes wild. Don Flamenco is still not done through sheer power of male pattern baldness. He rises again to his feet, ready to fight. Don throws a jab, you throw a right cross. Don throws a hook to your face. The bell rings to end the round. Don. Lewis fails to give good advice to little Mac and is distracted by a milkshake. Don Flamenco is no longer interested in schmoozing. Round three begin begins. Little Mac throws a punch, Don throws a right cross. Little Mac throws a right hook that lands. Don throws a left jab, you throw a left hook, Don hits the ground. Don has lost too much body heat through his sad scalp. <laughs> he can no longer stand. Little Mac is the WVBA Major League champion. Now, the crowd goes absolutely ape shit. The final round begins. You need to knock down Out Cold to win this fight. He's much too fast for you. What? Don throws a left jab. You throw a left cross. No, no. I won. Alright, apparently they made me the champion before the fight was over. Punch Don Flamenco in the face with truly otherworldly force. You feel a release from all pain. You feel power and your body surges with energy as if you have taken a shot of adrenaline. Punch Don Flamenco's head clean the fuck off. <laughs> Punched off him his head, clean the F, the F. The force of the blow is so great it flies his entire upper body off his legs. <laughs> Don Flamenco explodes. Fiery chunks of him shower the screaming crowd. Little Mac wins. He has. <laughs> has won <laughs> the fight. He is now the Major League Champion. <laughs> Your entire body is buzzing. You get up off the canvas. WVBA is about to become the hottest new promotion in town. <laughs> I keep seeing my viewer count go up by one and then somebody's just like, what the? Fuck, and they move on to the, with their lives. I imagine that's usually the effect I have on people. This has gone on far longer than I thought. I really hope I get paid soon, Jet. Maybe the first thing I'll do is order a Red's Tavern Double from Red Robin. That would be wonderful. It's like a Big Mac that deserves respect. Uh, I might give unemployment a call again tomorrow. Uh, I know pastoring them probably doesn't speed the process up, but I don't know. I've been wrong before. Um, my understanding is, is like it is in the hands of the unemployment department now. Like I think it got past whatever its former roadblock was, and it's just being looked at by a dude who is very busy. 
So. Yeah, it would be good. Because I'm down to like half a loaf of bread and four cans of soup in here. It's getting ridiculous. I probably should have gone ahead with that charity stream, huh? Wait, anyway. We don't need to talk about all that too much. That's just what's going on in my life. <laughs> I have no money, and I'm running out of food. A couple of people have donated money to me. It goes away pretty quick. All kinds of capitalists are just like, Ooh, that person has money again now. Thanks for the money. Also, hang on, I'm having like an allergy thing, so stand by for a second. I think we should just go ahead and be like as crazy as possible with it at this point, because like, it's doing such an admirable job of being a mostly coherent punch-out story. Like, really, I'm amazed that AI Dungeon has kept this as coherent as it has. The, the top comment on the, uh, the video for Don Flamenco's theme is, Here lies Don. He lived fast and died a virgin. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know that's not true. Do you see how fucking suave that dude is? <laughs> I do really wish I were actually streaming that game. It's such a good game. I'm still so disappointed. But I get it, computer. You know, I don't blame you. I've said before, really, it's a miracle that you do as well as you do. You don't owe me anything at this, at this point. I've been on this computer for like 10 years. Maybe someday, if society doesn't completely collapse, I'll get a new one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Little Mac advances... Alright, hold on. Little Mac, champion of the minor and major leagues, now advances to the WVBA World Circuit. It's the big times now. All he says, his original hairstyle may be died of <laughs> You know, he kind of did have that look about him in, uh, he did have like a receding hairline look about him in the in NES Punch-Out, as I think of it. <laughs> Still, that was... This is a terrible way to reveal that hilarious plot twist when his Liverpool, like, to pay, like, flies the fuck off in mid-fight. Don Flamenco. Like, eh. You know the news? Uh, I kind of gave up. I, I think I quit XCOM 2. As a matter of fact, I think I, that's so strong that I uninstalled it. It's like... I was kind of hanging in there, but like... I finally realized I was just not having fun with it anymore, you know what I mean? It's just... it. The problem really is, and I'll stand by this, that the, like there really is no medium difficulty level. There's either the, like, obviously taking it too easy on you difficulty that we screened, and then from there, it's... Recalculus. It's just... <laughs> if you're just not gonna be fair, then I'm just taking my ball and going home, you know what I mean? But, uh... Templar Tama did get to kick some pretty extreme ass before I made that decision, so... There's that, at least. Max's first opponent in this league is Aaron Ryan, an extremely spry Irish boxer who is known to do all kinds of hideously illegal things in the ring. He eyes Mac wild-eyed. Bell rings, and Ryan enters the ring like a bag of cats. The green-tinted glass makes it impossible for you to see exactly what happens next, but when the smoke clears, you see blood streaming down the middle of Aaron's otherwise empty robe, but he is... <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> Nowhere to be seen. You've just watched the worst professional boxing match you've ever seen. <laughs> this brings us to the moment you've been waiting for. The main event of this evening, the WVBA <laughs> heavyweight title fight. Wow, we just skipped over. All right, you know what? Apparently, Soda Popinski. Uh, Popinski. And Super Macho Man decided to stay the fuck away from Little Mac. After seeing what happened to Aaron Ryan. Mr. Sandman. WVBA World Champion is not intimidated. He will fuck Mac right up. The world title fight begins as Mr. Sandman, the tow <laughs> towering Philadelphian boxer, squares off against Little Mac. Before the first bell, we flash back to the moment both men were born. Little Mac was a was born a shapeless mass of squirming babies. He was a I'm sorry, I've been completely stymied by this. <laughs> of all ways this could have gone. <laughs> the bell rings. Little Mac is a shapeless mass of squirming babies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my god. What the hell is Little Mac? I'm gonna let Air Dungeon keep going on this. He was just some homeless fighter's scrawny little son who wouldn't stop crying. Mr. Sandman was born in the dank slums of the great city of New York. I could have sworn I just told you it was Philadelphia, but sure. The city that never sleeps, that never stops, and always keeps on grabbing. His father tools up for the working man. When the moon shower factory sends him off to college, where he graduates with a degree in business. Good for you, Mr. Sandman. I did not know you were so educated. So he's- wait, he's actually- Maybe he's Dr. Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just keep doing what you're doing. This is wonderful. Okay, we're back to the fight. The two men clash in the ring. The crowd, crowd gives a mixed ovation. This is it, folks. This is it. This is it. Punch Mr. Sandman in the head. Wait, we're still listening to Aaron Ryan here. Hold on. It's a shame we skipped Soda Popinski because his theme is incredible. <laughs> I love Soda Popinski. He kicked my ass so much as a kid, but I just respected him for it. So the Papinski's amazing. But anyway. Yeah, we skipped Ball Bowl too, yeah. No, we're just going straight ahead to Mr. Sandman. His intro is great, by the way. Also, he took me many tries to beat. He is serious fucking business in that game. But anyway. You punch Mr. Sandman in the head and send him to the canvas. The entire crowd gasps. Mr. Sandman, the WVBA world champion, is helped up by his corner. Wow. First round knockout. Pretty good. 
<laughs> oh, this is Dr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. I can't sleep because melatonin escapes me. Dr. Sandman will help you with the concussion he's about to give you. <laughs> Avoid Mr. Sandman's furious retaliation. He doesn't even want to fight you. He doesn't want to fight anyone. Are you sure? You know what? He, I'm going to give you another shot on that one. You little prick, he mutters. That's more like it. The two men glare at each other. This isn't over, kid, he spits. <laughs> that's, that's much better. Uh, you know, even if it is like a subdued Nintendo version for Punch-Out, I fucking never get tired of like those speed metal drums that we were just hearing, you know what I mean? It's what makes, uh... God, uh, Dragon Force occasionally good. But anyway... Punch... Mr. S Sand... Man... Again. That seems to work. Stop it. Mr. Sandman staggers back. He isn't as fast as he used to be. Alright, I'm gonna help him out here. Mr. Sandman prepares for his signature move. The devastating... Ripple uppercut, he calls the Dreamland Express. He spins into it and it's a brutal thing to behold. Mr. Sandman attempts to throw another, but you punch him back. Harder. We just slip into the Dreamland Express, no problem. This is really making me want to play that game. I'm gonna have to play it, like, even though I can't stream it, like, just to enjoy it. Maybe I can stream it through Discord, you know what I mean? Maybe you. Whatever. Maybe another time. Yeah, but anyway. Avoid the dream land. <laughs> oh, this is quick user stand powers. Ah, damn it. I'm still not JoJo literate enough. Hmm. Punch him in body a bunch of times. Mr. Sandman staggers back, clutching his jaw. Mr. Sandman attempts to throw another. This one is a double dreamland. Dodge, 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 dodge. I was going to say it three times, and then I realized I had to dodge six times. Dodging, you barely avoided being hit by a double dreamland. Mr. Sandman attempts to throw another, but you see it a mile away and pull up short. Mister. Mr. Sandman spins into it. Unfortunately, you are still tired from the last time he hit you with that move. You feel a wave of dizziness wash over you. You stagger back, clutching your head. Go on the defense. Avoid further sa Sandman punches. Mr. Sandman rushes in with a barrage of wild punches. But you even these out with a few of your own. Mister. Sandman attempts to pull a couple of his own. You block and parry, but you can't help but take a couple punches in the process. Mister. I'm just gonna hit under every time it says Mister. Mr. Sandman pulls off a clever roll. Mr. Sandman prepares for a signature move the devastating triple left guard he calls a Dreamland Express. He spins it and it is a brutal thing to behold. Hit Mr. San Man with a big star punch just as he moves in for the Dreamland Express. The world champion staggers backwards, clutching his face. Blood spurts out of his broken nose. <laughs> it's on now. Repeatedly punch. His vulnerable lower body as he is vulnerable. <laughs> I'm vulnerable to twice. 
Mr. Sandman staggers back, clutching his shapely behind. Whoa! Mr. Sandman attempts to pull a couple of- no, no pulling. Wind up and blast Mr. Sandman in the face with a massive uppercut. The crowd goes wild. Mr. Sandman stumbles back, clutching his eyes. He, he must be out of stumbling room at this point. Attack Mr. Sandman with a relentless onslaught of punches to pretty much everywhere. You attack Mr. Sandman with a relentless onslaught of punches to pretty much everywhere. He tries to roll out of the way, but you're always there to nail him with a punch to the face. Ask the crowd to lend me their power. You ask the crowd to lend them your power. Surprisingly, they do. You growl and charge Mr. Sandman. You hit him with a frenzy of punches to the face and body. Mr. Sandman tries to roll out of the way. You're always there to nail him with a punch to the face. Raise fists and conjure a massive spirit bomb above the ring. Even his fist. Mr. Samurai is hit by a wall of fire. He cooking his skin, but ironically not burning him up. Mister. Samurai attempts to roll out of the way. Mister. You're getting a little loopy. Oh shit, here comes the Dreamland Express. Two more jabs dig into your chest. Alright, hold on. You're looping. Alright, I'm just going to ignore that last mister. Throw the spirit bomb at Mr. Sandman's face. Managed to get it to explode directly on his head, but he takes it in stride. Holy shit! Blast Mr. Sandman with Kamehameha Wave. Mr. Sandman is blasted back against the ropes. Punch Mr. Sandman with... with the force of a Japanese bullet train. Mr. 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 Another blast hits him. He's being blown back. Mr. Another blast hits him. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just getting really confused. I've been putting it through a lot. You know, it's been doing so well. I honestly can't be mad at it at this point. Mr. Sandman explodes. Sandman shrapnel tears through little Mac and most bystanders. Little Mac gets up to his feet. The crowd is on their feet. You raise your fist to victory. Yeah! Uh, let's see. No. There we go. That one will work. <sighs> Amazingly, Little Mac has risen from a pile of babies in the Bronx to become the World WVBA Champion. He gets laid big time. He spends the rest of his... <laughs> having conquered conquered the world of boxing the only thing all right well, no hold up he lives for a few years in luxuries years, years in boxing luxury there we go until he receives a nondescript Envelope 
he has been invited to smash to punch the rest of Nintendo. Well, he says also Spirit Bomb fucking never works. You know what? I think you're right. I think it did like once. People wonder what Nintendo will do to Little Mac, but he does not dwell on such things. He throws the envelope at a nearby trash can and says, Yeah, well, I'm out of here. Alex <laughs> says he joined the Nintendo Club. <laughs> Little Mac joined Club Nintendo and lived happily ever after. Doug Lewis. Uh, got diabetes. Bear Hugger became a meme. You got the world's smallest wristwatch. <laughs> Each of Don Flamenco's individ individual. Okay, well, individual. It my end key. Fifth. Individual. There we go. Thank you. Fiery pieces eventually regained all of the memories and powers of the or original Don Flamenco. The each of the new miniature Dons is spectacular. The post-apocalyptic future is avoided with the aid of all the new dons. They're amazing. They saved us all. I knew the future lay in, in the in Don Flamenco's great benevolence. Bull Bull spent the rest of his life standing around in an empty boxing ring, wondering what the fuck happened. Mount Mr. Fuji eventually got remarried and raked the garden for all he was worth. He enjoyed an increased celebrity, but ultimately died of a heart attack after winning a game of bingo. <laughs> this spirit bomb technique was never used again because it's... It's terrible. A knob named Zamasu used it on his opponent in an exhibition fight, but he got his head ripped off and eaten by his anger-filled audience. Wow! The world of boxing really changed. I, t I don't even know what that word is. I hope it's not some, like, terrifying slur. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking of coming back to Bear Hugger. Uh, Glass Joe died of his boxing injuries seven weeks later. Little Tokyo was eventually renamed Little Corcovado after the English translation of one of its biggest tourist attractions, the Little Tokyo Sailor Hat. The strikers were never heard from again. Zior never did stream the real game. He starved to death instead. No, you know what? That's that's actually too depressing. Like I was playing that up as a joke, but I was just like, no, I just I just made myself sad. Let's just let's not even do that. Temrick invented a cool hel helicopter. He crashed it. He spent a week in the hospital, but was okay. Then he invented a bad one and crashed that too. Rip Van Winkle eventually retired to a farm where he lived happily ever after with his two cow-loving daughters. Yeah, there we go. Daisy farted into the mic. Everyone laughed.
You wonder what could have become of your own life? You know your destiny for greatness. You've already conquered the world. What's next? Wrestling? Nah. Little Mac became an um, extremely popular brand of soft drink. This is the best epilogue. It just keeps going. Don't worry, kid. You're gonna kick a lot more than you'll ever get kicked with. Little Mac tore a guy's arm clean off during an arm wrestling spin-off event. That'll teach him. <laughs> what else? I gotta keep milking this. It, it just keeps going. Piston Hondo. <laughs> that bitch finally moved out of Ludacris' way. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do that. Ludacris' career went downhill as soon as that one bitch got out of his way. You met Ludacris at the next WrestleMania. He was dressed like a blue superhero, tapping his foot, eager for his opportunity on the main event. You tried unsuccessfully to rip off your move. Ludacris was killed by a flying kick from Mike Hager. Ludacris was bare in cement. Everyone had a good laugh at his expense. Shame. He could have been he could have been good if he got the brakes. <laughs> Doc Lewis formed the first ever. No, that joke is dumb. I might have taken this about as far as I can. Little Mac lived to be over 16,000 years old. He never did learn how to drive. He died of a heart attack while watching the uh, King of the Hill Marathon on TV. Little Corcovado eventually became an overpopulated nation. Mm hmm. There you go. He Ed. That was... It sure was. <laughs> ah, okay, I think that's enough out of me. <laughs> so it's a real shame that uh, my real, genuine, actual, definitely authentic we doesn't agree with OBS, so I'm afraid I can't stream punch out we, which makes me sad. But I'll probably play it anyway, because it's great. Oh, it says I'm happy with what we've got. Well, good, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, thanks for recommending it, I guess. This was, <laughs> again, like, I'm honestly impressed with how well it did with all this. But any whoozle. Uh, possibly besiege tomorrow, but I'm not married to that yet. We'll have to see. Might come back to Open XCOM. Might save that for Thursday, I don't know. Well, this is AI Dungeoning, the game you're going to play is starting to be a good stand in for serious technical issues. Yeah, apparently. I mean, it does just keep improving. Alright. Noticed that I'm, like, really hungry. So I'm gonna go eat some sad stuff. And, uh, wonder where I went wrong. But thanks for watching my dumb stream that didn't really work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think uh, this computer will ever be content with streaming that, so that's just the way it's gonna go, I guess. So we'll move on from that idea. Anyway, yeah. Open XCOM at some point this week. Final Fantasy Friday is sticking around. Uh, possibly Besiege. Don't know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the stupid crap I do. I gotta set up, uh... 
the I gotta set up like a Ko-Fi like donation tip jar thing. Even if I don't do a marathon stream for it. You know. Maybe some people can throw some change my way if they want to. You know. Alright. That's all I got for you. Have a good night.